Sukkot is over. Ooh, the scream truck just went by. Nice. Sukkot is over, but election season is on. Here in New Jersey, in the U.S., also in Israel, there are elections going on, and I'm in one of those zones where there's lots of negative ads that seep in to my feed. So, look, negative advertising tends to play on our confirmation biases, that we want to believe the things we want to believe and can play on fears and sort of loose claims or weak links in order to try and convince us of things that we want to be true. This, of course, is part of the story that we read in the Torah this week. When we read Sefer Bereshit, it's not a scientific story on the creation of the world, famously. It's a story of truths, of what it's like to be human. Among those things is when the Nachash, when the, when the serpent seems to use confirmation bias, get Eve to do what she wants to do anyway, I think, and Adam, the same thing. Saying, did God really say this? Isn't it just really somebody acting that's not in your interest? Shouldn't you be standing up for yourself more and trying to play on, trying to play on people's internal beliefs? We're supposed to investigate things more deeply. Adam and Chava, they fall for it. We're supposed to investigate things deeply and not fall for our own confirmation bias, not fall for those who wish to flatter us and make us th to try and make think that we're better and that other people are out to get us. This is common in negative political advertising. We're supposed to rise above. All candidates are flawed. All campaigns are flawed. And we're supposed to investigate issues deeply. Think of what's best for not just for us, but for our entire community and for our country, and cast an informed vote. Don't fall for the simple tricks that go on among those who try and scare us one way or the other. Think more deeply. That's actually part of what we are meant to do. It's not easy to do it when you're human, but the Torah asks us to try and rise above. Shabbat Shalom.